what is going on guys Horcrux here and happy holidays. So before we jump into the bread and butter of today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members thank you guys so much for your ongoing support this channel would not be possible without you. So the best way to support the channel is with a simple like, sub, and comment. But if you want to go one step further, I have a YouTube membership. Some of the perks include access to private Discord channels, custom emojis, and shoutouts in each and every single one of my videos. And if you want to go two steps forward, I also have a Patreon, which includes all the perks listed on my YouTube membership, in addition to private PvP coaching and also access to combat critique. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, there's a link to everything down in the description below. So before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, let me get something off my chest. So I just went and saw The Matrix after two decades of the trilogy kind of being, you know, left left aside the Wachowski brothers or sisters or whatever now. Um, come out with a fourth movie to The Matrix. I The only thing I want to say about the movie is I have never seen a worse movie in my entire life. Um, that's another rant for another day, but if you are a Matrix fan, a Keanu Reeves fan like myself, and you want to go see The Matrix please lower your expectations to like a two of the 10 scale. So uh, without the way, uh, let's get into what set we're talking about here, guys. So kind of, oh God, I almost gave it away already. Anyway, hopefully we'll cut that out. I don't know if future Josh will cut that out, but, uh, or future Horcrux, whoever I am. So we're gonna be talking about set now. Um, you guys saw my video on Daedric Trickery and how I explained that uh, you can kind of get all these buffs. You know, Daedric Trickery, it, while it is a good set, it is kind of like a lazy way to bit out your class but you know it, it can be good uh, I'll, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10 for a uh, a back bar set so there's a set uh we'll, we'll just go ahead and reveal it it's kind marchers kind marchers is low-key overpowered so let's go over what this set does exactly okay so the two piece of kind marchers cruelty gives you maximum health uh this is an overland set by the way uh, it gives you stamina recovery it gives you armor and then the five piece so this is very similar to the way daedric trickery is lined out you have an rng chance to get these major buffs but these major buffs and debuffs are not easily found in eso there's not many ways to acquire them so the two piece is pretty good the three piece is pretty good now since the four piece says armor i'm assuming this would be used as a back bar set i personally have found great success in running kind marcher's cruelty along with daedric trickery your tooltips kind of look terrible your character sheet looks terrible but it is very very underrated set combination so i guess you would put this on a back bar from but it really doesn't matter right because it's only gonna be a one bar set anyway but let's go over the five pieces so when you deal direct damage just like daedric trickery you apply one of five random major it says debuffs but yeah okay we'll, we'll just call it debuffs to enemies within eight meters of you okay to get an idea of how big this eight meters is it, it is that big ass ring that the, the templar uses like that, that that's eight meters okay so whatever major debuffs you have you can essentially double stack these so uh this effect can occur uh, once every eight seconds and only if an enemy is within range which is really good because you definitely do not want this set to fire when uh, you're not gonna hit anyone so some of the eligible debuffs are major breach okay so this essentially increases or decreases their spell resistance by 5,000 and some change um what that equates to is about 10 percent worth of damage that's awesome so major breach the only way to really get that uh, c consistently i mean i'm sure there's other sets and other abilities out there is like ellie drain so essentially this is like an aoe ellie drain to everyone which is phenomenal right next buff I really want to take some time and explain the impact of this buff. Major cowardice. So, you may not even know what this does. So, it reduces your weapon and spell damage by 430, I believe, off the top of my head. Hopefully, future of Horcrux is good with the editing. So, that doesn't seem like a lot. Let, let me explain how weapon and spell damage work in ESO. It stacks multiplicatively. So, I tested this on my Dragonite, so I have around 6,000, well, 6,400 spell damage when everything's fully buffed. When I get hit by major cowardice, this does not lower my spell damage by 430. No, 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 no. It lowers my spell damage by 790. Okay, so this reduces your base amount of weapon and spell damage, and then anything multiplicative of that is just diminished, right? So. With that being said, 
if you look at spell and weapon damage, about 745 spell and weapon damage is equivalent to about 10% overall damage. So this is decreasing not only your damage done by over 10%, it, it's, it's probably actually like 13% in, in reality. But because your heals are based off of your weapon and spell damage, it's also reducing your healing output. So major cowardice is amazing. Now you can really, really abuse this if you use a weakening enchantment on your weapon. So the weakening enchantment actually lowers your spell and weapon damage by an additional 350. So in total, you have around, yeah, well, math hard, 870 reduction to your base spell and weapon damage, which is going to equate to about 1300 spell and weapon damage swing in your favor. Major Cowardice is a very scary debuff to have on you. If you do not purge this, your heals are going to be absolutely dog. Your damage is going to be absolutely dog. So I just wanted to take the time to explain how good Major Cowardice is. In addition to this, and keep in mind, all this can stack, right? Major Defile, you guys know what this does. Uh, I'm sure you see it on your debuff bar and you're like, oh my god, this sucks. Fucking Plague Break, right? So it reduces your incoming healing by like 10%. Major Maim. Again, that's another 10% decrease in damage, okay? And Major Vulnerability, I'm actually going to look that one up. <laughs> Give me one second. Future Josh, please edit this out, for the love of God. What, what does Major Vulnerability do? Major Vulnerability. It increases your damage taken by an additional 10%. So let's, let's just think about all this, guys, okay? So Major Breach, you're gonna be taking 10% more damage. That's awesome. Major Vulnerability you're going to be taking 10% more damage. You know, who, whoever is afflicted by this. Major Maim, they're going to be doing 10% less damage to you. Major Defile, they're going to be doing 10% less healing at all times to you. To I'm, I think Major Defile is to yourself, it's not to others. I don't think it affects your ongoing healing, just your incoming healing. But Major Cowardice is the bread and butter of this. So Major Cowardice, again, not only is it going to reduce your overall damage, I would say, we'll just go ahead and say 10 to 12%, but it's also going to be reducing your healing as well. So it kind of double dips in that aspect. So as a five piece, this is a super unique and just an absolutely amazing, amazing set the reason it is so good is because you don't have to play the rng gamble roll the dice to your survivability right like time marcher's cruelty is not something a set that you want to necessarily crutch or build your build completely around this is just to synergize with what you already have going on i'll let my theory crafting uh community go wild on this one but yeah i i know it's been on the set for a while I, you know deltia has made a video about this and i it really didn't dawn on me how powerful of a five piece this is so let me know if you guys are actually using this maybe you haven't heard this set either because it is kind of kind of low-key um when i hear people making builds i don't hear kind marcher's cruelty in the mix all too much it's kind of a slept on set in my opinion and you know like i said if you really want to take the uh the 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 crown store we're, we're, we're probably gonna make a build with this we're we're gonna call it the the crown crate build right if you want complete rng chance on your build we're gonna try out kind marcher's cruelty along with dj trickery and pretty much like you're either a god tier pvp player or you're just absolute dog shit just, just based on the buffs you get so um, that may, might be kind of fun to do and experiment with again i've tried this on my dk a little bit in some duels and the BGs and it performs absolutely phenomenal as you would expect it would. But uh, yeah, a huge shout out to Major Coward. It's a very underrated major debuff in my opinion, guys. But yeah, go crazy down in the comments. Let me know if you guys are running this and what you're running this on. I'd be curious to see when I actually do start grinding out all these different tunes and trying out new builds for you know all the classes because I want to extend into other pools, not just my trifecta of necromancer dk and sorcerer right i want to play everything for you guys I have my own opinions and insights on each class thereof so yeah this has been horcrux guys um i'm closing and don't forget i have a patreon also, also youtube membership comes with all kinds of perks right uh shout outs on all my videos uh one-on-one -on -one pvp coaching if we get a little bit better pvp uh pvp can be very unforgiving at times and it's nice to have someone just kind of stop you when you're screwing up and just kind of correct you on the spot um i won't say i'm a saint by no means but i played this game for seven years religiously i know a thing or two about a thing or two so if you want some tips or tricks uh there's patreon tiers for that cancel at any time you know holidays also uh mental health awareness christmas new year's is like the most suicidal time of the year so 
And in the words of Robin Williams, everyone you talk to is fighting a battle you know shit about. So be kind to everyone, please guys. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.